Hi everyone and welcome. Here you can see on the webcam we have the Luxfox Pico Pro Max, the Linux development board. In the previous video of getting started guide we have covered that how you can boot this board with Ubuntu operating system using SD card. Okay, so we were flashing the Ubuntu operating system in the SD card. Then we will put the SD card here and then this board will boot with the Ubuntu operating system. But now we don't want to use the SD card. Okay, we have the NAND flash storage here. Okay, 256 MB of SLC NAND storage is here. Okay, with this board. So we want to boot the operating system inside this storage. So we don't require SD card. So how we can do that? Okay, so that thing we are going to cover in this video. So if you visit the Luxfox website, okay, for Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. And if you scroll down, then here you can see yeah slc nand flash okay 256 mb of slc nand flash you will get with this luckfox pico pro max board and uh, if you scroll down more then on the number 12 here you can see 256 mb slc nand flash okay so instead of using sd card you can use this NAND flash storage to boot operating system okay so we can load or we can flash the build root operating system inside the NAND storage and we can boot this uh, Linux development board with the build root operating system so in this video we will see how you can do that so uh, here is the documentation for that okay and here is a website and we have already covered the getting started guide for the Luxfox Pico Pro Max okay with ubuntu operating system now we will see this third video flashing build root operating system onto nand flash for the luckfox pico pro max rv1106 linux micro development board so here we have the board okay here we have the nand storage and we are going to boot the build root operating system inside this board so what you have to do is you just have to download the driver assistant tool first of all okay to install the necessary driver in your system once you download the driver assistant tool okay you have to double click here and you have to install all the necessary driver in your system here you can see driver installation is done you can close it after that you have to download the soc toolkit either you can download from the documentation page okay otherwise you can download from our website and here you can see soc toolkit here i have already downloaded the soc toolkit okay and uh, here we can double click and we can open it okay now here you can see chip supported list so we have the luckfox pico pro max and the chip is inside the luckfox pico pro max is rv1106 g3 okay so we have to select rv1106 here and then we have to press ok now we want to flash the build root operating system inside our board ok so we have to download the image file for that operating system so from where you can download so you can download it from uh, google drive ok so here i have provided the link of the google drive firmware network disk link ok so if you open that in the new tab let me close the previous one here you can see the build root folder so double click on this build root folder and here you can see luckfox pico pro max micro sd card build root operating system luckfox pico pro max nand flash build root operating system okay so i have downloaded this one to flash the build root operating system into the nand storage okay and if i open the folder here and if i go to the operating system build root then here you can see Luxfox Pico Pro Max micro SD card build root operating system, Luxfox Pico Pro Max NAND flash build root operating system. And the size of the NAND flash image is 190 MB, and the size for the micro SD card image is the 515 MB. Okay, because we have only 256 MB of the NAND uh, storage, so that's why the size of the NAND image is very less, like 190 MB okay and we have to board this file into our board so you have to again navigate to the soc toolkit okay right now in the usb you won't see anything because we haven't attached our board with our system so what you can do is you can press the boot button here okay 
I am going to press the boot button and we will connect this board with our system after pressing the boot button. So we'll press the boot button. We'll attach the board with our system. And once you hear the beep sound, you have to release the boot button. That's it. And you will have the Muschrome 12 here in the USB section. After that, you have to click on the search path and uh, you have to navigate to the operating system which you have downloaded okay so build root and uh, luckfox pico pro max flash a uh, build root operating system okay which we are going to flash into our nand storage so we will open this folder and we will select this folder and we will press yes now we will select everything here okay and uh, before that, we will erase the entire NAND storage. So we will click here. Okay, download bin. We will go to the advanced feature. We will click on the download bin. Okay, it will download the bin. Okay, and then we will erase the entire NAND storage. Okay, erase. Okay, then after we will go to the download. We will select all the files. Okay. You can compare the file list with the documentation. So here you can see, yeah, total eight file will be required. Download bin, environment, ID block, U-boot, boot, OEM, user data, and the root FS. Okay, that's it. And uh, we can click on download. So it will download everything into our board. Here you can see download done. So we have successfully uh, flashed the build root operating system inside the NAND storage of this Luckfox Pico Pro Max board. Okay, so we don't need SD card now, okay, to work with this Luckfox Pico Pro Max board. We can work without any SD card. Now here you can see the red LED is blinking. So it means it's uh, getting booted. And after successful boot, we will see that NDIS uh, remote network sharing device in our network connection. So here you can search for view network connection. And here you can see a remote NDIS pays internet sharing device. Okay, internet sharing device. I can right click, I can go to the properties and I can click on the internet protocol version 4 and here you can see i have already set up my local ip address 172.32.0.23 and the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0 so that's it i don't have to change this anymore and if you flash the build root operating system inside your luckfox board then the ip address of your luckfox board will be different okay so in the case of ubuntu IP address will be 172.32.0.70 but in the case of build root operating system IP address will be 172.32.0.93 so you can copy this IP address you can open the command prompt you can type ping and then you can paste that IP address and here you can see we are getting successful ping so it means that our system is successfully connected with this Luckfox Pico Pro Max board and this Luckfox Pico Pro Max board is up and running with the build root operating system. Now I can use SSH to get into the terminal of this board. So what I can do is I can type SSH and then what is the username? So username is root. Okay. Otherwise you can directly copy this. Okay. And then you can paste it here. Paste and then enter. Okay, I am getting this error because I have previously connected with this device. Okay, so I have to go to user parrot and then I have to navigate to the SSH folder and parrot and then I have to navigate to the SSH folder and I have to delete these entries. Okay, and uh, then after I have to open the new terminal, I have to paste that command here. Okay, SSH root at the rate IP address of our Luckfox Pico Pro Max board and then we can hit enter and then you have to type yes and then you have to hit enter and then after you have to provide the Luckfox board password which is Luckfox so L-U-C-K-F-O-X and here you can see we have the access of the terminal of the Luckfox Pico Pro Max board okay now you can list out the 
directory okay so we are in the root directory okay ls cpu okay the command is not found because it's a build uh, root os okay it's not our normal ubuntu so there will be some different command for the build root os okay but we have successfully flashed the build root os inside the nand storage of the luckfox pico pro max board okay now if you have any question or any doubt in this steps you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere now the steps you have to follow is first of all you have to install the uh, driver okay so here is the driver so luckfox software driver assistant okay so first of all you have to install the necessary driver then after you have to download the image file for the build root os okay now you have to download the respective image file for your board if you have luckfox pico pro max then you can download this two file for the sd card and the nand flash if you have luckfox pico plus and so on okay we have downloaded this two and we have used this two because we want to flash the build root operating system inside the nand storage so that's why then after you have to open the soc toolkit you have to erase the nand storage first by going the advanced feature download bin it is all okay and then after you have to go to the download section and you can select all the file and you can just hit the download button to download the build root operating system or you can say to flash the build root operating system inside the luckfox pico pro max board okay and then after you can ping the ip address of your luckfox pico pro max board okay which is different from the previous one because of the build root operating system and then after you can use this ssh command to get into the terminal of the luckfox pico pro max board and if you see this kind of warning or this kind of error then basically you have previously connected with this ip address and after that something has been changed okay so that's why you have to delete the entries in the dot ssh folder and then after you have to try again with the new uh, terminal and here you will able to access it okay so i hope this thing is clear in the future videos we will see how you can you know uh, install some library how you can connect the camera with the luckfox pico pro max board okay and so on so stay tuned for the future videos okay till then take care goodbye and thank you